Singaporean couple gets married in a copy tiam. I'm loving it. Now you might be thinking, okay, they're saving money on the venue. I'm pretty sure the food must be gilagempakbabi.com. You're wrong. The guests were served with toast, half boiled eggs, and coffee. Package rate per person, I'm guessing it's about four ringgit. Brilliant. And to further save money, they didn't even hire waiters and waitresses. Guess who served their guest food? the bride herself. Now this is a great news. The reason why I'm covering this news on Chiba News is because I'm sick of all this exaggerated and over the top weddings. The economy is bad. Be smart. Set the bar low. Who, who is trying to compete with? I in fact think having a wedding in a mama is the wedding of my dreams. The wedding was solemnized in front of a cashier counter in a kopi tiam called Yakun. According to the couple's close friend, it's because when they put both of the couple's name together, it's pronounced as Yakun. Whatever it is, they seem very happy during the wedding and that's all that matters. No need to please anybody. In fact, their wedding became a news on Chiba News. It's a flex. Happy marriage to the couple. Speaking about marriages, past leaders suggest polygamy as a solution for women marrying late. Here we go again with this bullshit. Nothing smart ever comes out from past leaders. Give me one example of something smart that came out from past leaders. I'll wait. Ibrahim said that we shouldn't view polygamy as something negative but instead see it in a way to help single women who are marrying late. What a kind and caring man. He cares. He actually cares for the women out there. Actually, why do we allow people like this to speak? Why? Why are people like this given a platform in the country? I don't, I, I, I don't get it, man. We have so many issues in the country but this man decides, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this topic up in the parliament and I'm going to sound smart. He says that there are 8.4 million women who are still not married. Where he got this data from, I have no idea. He says that even if polygamy is not the best solution, it's still a way out. A way out for what? Your penis? Speaking about penises, a man who urinated at a parking lot in Subang surrenders to police. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest news transition ever. Penis pin... Brilliant, man. Who wrote the script? Who d I wrote the script. <laughs> During the weekend, a man went viral for peeing in a parking lot. I mean, come on, let's be honest. We've all done this shit before. The only difference is that we didn't get caught. A woman caught him, of course. Of course, it's a woman. A woman caught him and started filming him while he was peeing. Imagine if the roles were reversed. Equality. The 32-year-old man who couldn't tahan his pee surrendered to police on the same day itself. What a gentleman. 11.15 in the morning, he went to the police station and said, I'm the guy who peed. Salute, brother. Salute. Unfortunately, he got charged with a fine of 100 ringgit. An expensive fee for an expressive P. My name is Vika and this is Chibai News. You wanna be a Rosma? Birkin bags and diamond rings. Baby, you can call me Bosco. I'll feed you up with super rings. You wanna be my Rosma?